Tane Trooper in the morning. Hey, everybody. We're back. What's going on? Yeah. All right. So uh, I got rid of Fast Crash, and you just noticed. Um, Rent a Trooper here. Rent a Trooper because the Empire and the Death Star and all that blew yeah, up. So it's, it's got bad. it for half price. Awesome. So today we're going to be showing you how to take your spur gear off, right? Yep. Alternately. Not the real way you do it, but if you've done something bad, we're going to show you how to fix it. All right. Let's go check it out. All right. Let's go. I'll, all right. I'll see you in the, I'll see you in the shop. Yeah. Hey. I gotta go get my uh, TIE fighter. Your C Hub gear right here gets stripped, and that little tiny grub screw gets stripped. It keeps everything on there, right, Raj? Mm -hmm. So, um, what you have to do is take it off the alternate way. So, first of all, we have to get to take off our spur gear. What we're gonna need is a 2.5 millimeter hex on there and we're going to be installing this here spur gear which is the part number 3956 mm -hmm. so we're going to start taking off the rear end now there's just two screws that are right there and of course take like the ones off in the bottom that are located right there okay now that that, that take that back on off exposes the spur gear here and you got to take that out there you go. Out. Now you can get now. Okay, come on. Now that you got that out, you can move your car piece away on the side. So we've already taken the spur gear out from from our rig. It's all broke up pieces. What you're gonna want to do is we're gonna, we need to pop this pin out. So hold hold the wheel right here. Get yourself an eight millimeter wrench and loosen this down to the bolt to where the grub screw is. I was going the wrong way. All the way down. As you notice, the spur gear will slowly start to descend itself. And so we're all the way there. Next, grab the spur gear, drop it down. And grab this plate. And if you can see it, the pin is right here on both sides. Drop it, pops out. Take anything small that you got, go ahead and try popping it out. There we go. Pops out. So that popped right off. As long as, as well as that, Keep then pull right up. And with, there you go. Yep, there it is. And that Pretty was, simple. Yeah. Mine looks different because mine has the, uh, I have the telemetry sensors on my car. So this has a uh, magnet in it and the magnet spins until it sends a signal to the ESC, which sends a signal to my phone via Bluetooth. So I'm just right. getting out our new Spurger here. Got it right here, package is all open, right, nice and new. I still need to take these screws out. Because I was missing one screw, huh? Mm -hmm. That's weird, I gotta find out where that went. Oh, there we go. Careful, the piece on the back might spin. Grab a hold of it. Oh. There we go, oh. Pesky little clutch plug. Like, should probably grease yeah. this up while we got it out. So, yeah. So we're all lubed up here. Yeah. That's what she said. <laughs> Gonna pop her back in the, in there. There we go. Nice and neat. So, so we're just gonna make sure the screws go into this side so they have something to catch. Put the clutch bait back in. Okay. okay. Make sure it's in there tight. Grab your clutch plate. Match up your first screw. And don't freak out if your your brake pads can fly off. They're easily able to put them back on. And if you're doing this and you notice you do have cracked. Uh, pads I suggest that you get those replaced as soon as possible okay so we're putting it all back together now uh, we got our spring and our, our locking piece now we got to make sure that's facing up because it goes right up in to this and they lock together I'll go ahead and put it together now I noticed there was two pinholes here then we were on the top one so we're gonna just go ahead and put it right back in there Like so, match up the hole, pop in your pin, Oops, sorry, pop in your pin, see, so, nice and done, go ahead and, it's a little, this trick is a little like people wouldn't even realize it, because that thing is usually buried under dirt and no one really notices that pin there. See, and then slide it back up, I know, and then, last thing, last thing to do here, Screw it back up. 
and that is it everybody that's how you do it you take your eight millimeter wrench and put it on um now make sure you hold this piece again yeah yeah i said it's a bit special focus of that will just what will happen if you don't hold that roger because you'll just slide around and you won't make any progress whatsoever there all locked up and bam that's how we're supposed to be good deal that's it everybody yeah that was that was it uh, that simple little trick will save you time and frustration as well because uh, everybody knows if you when those grub screws are so fragile they they strip so easily so anyway that was it congratulations to Rogers first video solo RC video let's get that crowd up let's come on everybody apologize Hop on. Did you see the fireworks <laughs> was awesome so anyway i'm haunted dash and he's fast crash and we would appreciate it if you hit that like button on this video and if you can subscribe don't forget to look us up on twitter both of our twitters will be showing up um and tell your friends awesome share us sharing is caring sharing so, is caring so haunted dash out have, have a fun. good have a good one guys have fun bashing and crashing i hope you enjoyed our video yeah. On the dash, I'm Fast Crash. Hit yeah. us up on Twitter. Exactly. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel as well. Don't forget to check out our featured channels and then also these playlists we put on the side here. Make sure to comment and let us know what you do like. Feel free to leave that in the QA section or in the comment section down below. So I'm on the dash. And I'm Fast Crash. And have and a good you, day. Stay, yeah. stay fast. That's right.